Let's, let's face it, we've all, uh, we've all pulled uh, drink out of the garbage and, and drank that, haven't we? Right? Yeah. Money makes the world go round. Money start, there's a warning for a money saving program. I feel like I'm going to vomit at some point during this. Yeah. This is just going to be very unhealthy. <laughs> Oh my god, head. he's sitting on the floor. <laughs> what? I see the need to spend money on furniture. Oh my Why would you? It's just, it's just not, nothing to do with comfort at all. No. I found some two by fours and these are styrofoam peanuts. He said peanuts or penis? I hope peanuts. And I covered up with bubble wrap. And oh my god. Is this? this is his bed. And it makes a perfect bed. Well hold on, that's basically furniture though, isn't it? I mean. Searching that bin for his dignity. <laughs> How can he be sure that's wine? Exactly, he looks very I mean, you're, you're, you're out on the beach if there's no toilet around. Like, that could easily be pee, like. Yeah. I'll pour it into the tube. At least he filters it, is it? No, just straight into the box, no filter. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. And I pick up a discarded- He's so proud of what he's doing, like. It's so weird. Oh, <laughs> Within that lobster. No, it's not a gold mine, it's a shitty. Although it's lobster, so it's fancy garbage. Yeah, well, yeah, in fairness. True. Cooking instructor Ron Maestri runs a class called Gourmet Meals on a Fast Food Budget. I like the idea of trying to be resourceful and get good meals for cheap, but not when you're. But not be a transient hobo exactly. at the same time. Exactly. Sure. It smells interesting. Bon appetit, everyone. Oh, wait. Bon appetit! Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that laugh is the reason he's single. This is the moment where all six of them rip him apart. It's like when you eat worms as a child. You know, I washed them beforehand, so really, it's not that disgusting. <laughs> Absolute lunatics. They are extreme cheapskates. Like, why is it? Why? Is I it understand wanting pressure? to save money, mm. but when you're not spending it on anything, what is the actual point? You wake up and the bed's everywhere, though. <laughs> <laughs> but if I was saving money, I'd want to spend it on something, so I'd go out and treat myself to something like, you know, I don't know, what, hamburger? I'm always looking for a way to stretch my dime. She doesn't spare any dosh on the bleach for her head, though. Jesus. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, why is she doing that? Oh, you sick bitch. I don't care if you're in the cleanest bar. Those bar mats are gross. If you don't have money, don't... Do they know that that's what they're drinking? So now I just keep a basket and keep them for Goldie. Don't tell me she takes them. You do... No. I, I use socks as sanitary pads. My way is way more costly. I'm done. Goldie spent $178,000 on a condemned clinic. They're from the hospital. Oh my god, they were probably covered in blood. That's very impressive. That is. It's just a shame it's probably haunted. I feel like these guys are really afraid of her. And they're like, we can't quit yeah, we the can't band. We should probably kill them. We can't quit the band. We should take out the sock and start hitting them with it. Like. Oh. <laughs> For my overall thoughts on it. <clears throat> All I'm thinking about is socks right now. There's a fine line between being good with money and being insane. I would keep your dude's pans. He had loads of nice pans. It seemed kind of disgusting, but I'm not gonna lie, I took some mental notes. Okay, I did. You can't just boil everything and go, that's grand, it's unsound, we've boiled the back here. It's, like, it's just not how it works. No. Study hard, uh, work hard, make enough money so that you don't have stuff socks down your pants. I'm gonna set up a stall in town. I'm gonna start selling socks in a totally different way, you know? Oh my god, stop it. See how that works. Make it stop. Make, make it business. Make it end.